Hi guys, today's recipe is going to be how I make my Mexican rice. So uh, what I have here is one cup of just regular long grain white rice. I have about half a cup of onion finely diced, three tablespoons of oil, I have one entire tablespoon of chicken noodle. Then I have one and a half cups of water, half a cup of crushed tomatoes, and then I also have some fresh tomatoes. Now, just to be honest with you, sometimes I will use only fresh tomatoes and completely omit the canned uh, tomato. It all depends on what I have. So that's what I'm all about, cooking with what I have on hand. So sometimes I have the can of tomatoes and sometimes I don't. If I don't, I just put um, more fresh tomatoes in there to give it the color and the flavor that I'm looking for. Um, but I did have some canned tomatoes, crushed canned tomatoes, so I have half a cup of that. And then uh, one and a half cups of water, as I mentioned. So the way that I start off is I just get my oil, I put it into my hot pan that I'm heating up, and I probably have to put this down just a bit because the heat is pretty high. Okay, so after I put that in there, I, oops, you know what I forgot? I forgot to get a clove of garlic. So I've got my clove of garlic, and I put it into this little nifty masher thing that I, I love, and I'm going to put it in here with the, um, with the onion so that when I put it in, it just will all go in at one time. So I'm going to start by putting the rice in. Now the trick is you just want to make sure that you cook the rice until you see that it's turning golden brown, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and put the rice in here and I'm going to start, um, I'm going to also put the onions. You're just going to keep stirring it until um, you see that the onion is translucent and it's nice and soft and the, the rice is turning golden brown. I love Mexican rice. My mom is the queen of rice. She just makes it the best. Every time we have a get together, she's always the one that makes the rice because she's just the best at it. So I would say the trick to making really good Mexican rice is once you have all your ingredients and you put the top on, you don't touch it from there. You just let it do its thing. You don't have to keep coming and mixing it. The more you mix it, the more you're gonna break up the rice and it's just gonna become really mushy. So just uh, once we put the top on, we're gonna let it sit. Okay, so my rice has gotten a nice golden brown color. The onions are nice and translucent and everything's looking good. Now from this point, everything uh, goes pretty quickly at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and add my fresh tomatoes and then just mix them up real quickly. Now I'm going to add my uh, half a cup of crushed tomatoes. And now it's time for the water, which as I mentioned, I'm putting one and a half cups of water. I want to bring it back up to a boil. And once you bring it back to a boil, you're going to put it on the lowest setting, make sure it simmers for about 20 minutes. And like I said, at that point, I don't touch it. I don't take the top off. I just let it sit and do its thing. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in um, my seasoning. A tablespoon of chicken broth, caldo de pollo, um, whatever brand it is that you use. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to put the top on. And like I said, from this point, you don't need to do anything. Just let it do its thing. I'm going to bring it down to a simmer and put my timer on for 20 minutes. Okay, so 20 minutes have passed. Like I said, I didn't touch it at all during that time. I didn't lift the lid, not once. And now it's ready to serve. Now I'm just going to serve myself a little bit into this little cup right here. And... I'm going to use this little ice cream scooper and then I'm going to show you how the rice is uh, 
not stuck together at all. The pieces are all individual. They're not smashed. They're all um, just still their full length. And then also everything is cooked through and nice and perfect. So this is my recipe for uh, how to make Mexican rice. Thank you so much for spending time with me and watching. And if you'd help me out by subscribing, I'd greatly appreciate that. Thank you.